<laughs> Welcome back, guys. If you're still holding it, we're doing the level three. If you haven't done so, check level one, how to create number list level one and level two. If you don't, and if you want to watch this one, welcome to Blue Melon Design Videos. Uh, my name is Juan, once again, and what we're going to do is just the third level. The first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to select, we've got, just to recap really quickly, level one, this is level two, and we want to do level three, which basically what we want to do is, we want to push these little numbers all the way, probably under the sea of cars, and we want to give the right number. Now we really don't want to be typing these numbers by hand because we want to spend more time kind of designing and making things look good rather than trying to keep track of the numbers. And it's so easy to keep track of them, especially when you do it with documents that this is where this becomes handy. Now, uh, to do that, we're going to actually jump and go and have access to my numbering options. So what do I do to do that? Yeah, correct. All I need to do is come here, option click, that's going to give me this drop down menu or that little window with all these options. Now we've done level one, level two. All we need to do here is make sure you type level three. Come here and I'm going to type level three. That's going to change a few things on my numbers. You can see that it resets these numbers. And now what the numbers are saying is basically I've got a number and a tab. So I've got the number of my level three. I need to add my level 2 and my level 1 into this number. How would I do that now? So if you remember from level 2, we, there's something we need to do on this number. So what we need to do here is we're going to add level 2 first and then level 1 numbers. So drop down menu, insert number, you go level 2, so it goes to the 2. Then go to the beginning of that number drop down menu, insert number, placeholder, and then go level 1. So we're actually adding level 1, yeah, then level 2, and then the number we want. Now that's not reading pretty well. I want to have dots in between my numbers. So you can actually come here and delete these number dot there, and just where the number 1 is, type full stop, and where the number 2 is, just type full stop. Hit tab to add the change and you can see we've managed to make the changes of the actual text which is pretty cool. All I need to do now is I'm going to change my indentation and push that all the way pretty much to where the C is. That'll do. Now you can actually create character styles, you can actually determine how it's going to be the mode of this numbering style. But just for now we're just going to leave it like that. Click OK and you can see now that we actually managed to do our number list. Now the cool thing about this is um, using my eyedropper tool what I'll do is bicycles select that and using your eyedropper tool I'm just gonna sample that. Now you're probably wondering is it possible to create a paragraph style on all these styles? So one for this level, another one for that level, another for one level. Yes you can. So just to recap on paragraph styles I'm not gonna talk I'm not going to cover paragraph styles here, but all I'm going to do is really quickly, I'm going to bring my paragraphs. Now that's my presentation style. So I'm going to create one. This is number, uh, let's call it number level one. Then I'm going to select this one and I'm going to call it number level two. Make sure I apply to selection. And I'm going to select these guys. And I'm going to say number level three. And all I'm going to do now is apply those ones to. I'm going to deselect that, break, put those ones, put these ones outside my Eve in design. Is nice to me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go, this is my level two. So I'm going to go level two. This guy should be level three. Clothes, it's actually, what is the clothes? Level one, correct. Now, this is something really important. You can see that when you create the style, it actually resets it to one. And that's because when I was creating the style, I didn't make a change. So what I need to do is you need to come here if this is happening to you, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to show you, option click and mode, instead of starting at, you need to say continues from previews one. As soon as you do that, you need to click OK, 
come to unit level one right click and redefine style that's going to fix the problem um, now all I'm going to do is let's let's continue to see if we've got more problems so this is level two this is level two this is level three and that's level three yeah so we've got two two point one two point two two point one point one two point one point two two point two point one so that's pretty cool now let's say they wanted to add another one instead of Honda let's add Fiat or something I don't know so you click enter you go Fiat and then everything gets updated automatically somebody wants to add another transport to these so you go okay cool well we're going to talk about trains so you talk about trains and then the numbers get updated automatically I don't know any brand of trains or any but um, you can see how cool this is it's not the most creative thing in the world but believe me it's gonna save you a lot of time now what I'm gonna to try to do is using this concept how to create a table of content with indented number styles hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon